Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallen 4 mods. In today's mod, we got another cool looking armor set. Currently looking at my mannequin here, and as well as my character. We'll show it off my character here in a second. Both a male and female set. This cool looking armor mod is called the Minutemen Enforcer Armor. So, it's added like kind of some background lore here. The Minutemen, back in their prime, like kind of before the events of Fallen 4 occur, they had enforcers, like the most badass motherfucking minimum that existed they came they saw they conquered they got like almost like medieval style armor on right i they got some i guess what's latin there they obviously got the minimum logo on there i don't know what some kua sumus is i don't know like and there's some like crosses for how many things they got a little radio they got a flare gun on their pouches and stuff there's some more american colors they got a backpack all these come in different little pieces and parts it does look quite nice as armor though Got a nice, it, it does look like something that like maybe the Minutemen would wear. Like this is like their Minutemen power armor that they kind of came up with themselves. Like they really just reinforced thick ass fucking metal. <laughs> just but like the tanky tank fucking Minutemen would wear something like this, which is very cool. And now you can find this out in the world on specific locations that would make sense that the Minutemen would like a, a, a that would exist for a Minutemen enforcer. They don't exist anymore according to the, the lore and the description of the mod. But you can download an additional mod that makes it craftable at the chemistry station, which is what I've done here. It's got its own section. Once you do download that, it's like an extra kilobytes of mod, right? You get the extra 20k points, extra 20 points of carry weight. Sometimes words are hard for my brain. You, um, with the backpack here, but then you got a curious helmet, left greave, left pauldron, plate helmet, right greave, right pauldron, all this stuff. Different little pieces give different amounts. The curious gives you plus one charisma, weighs 24, big heavy part. Um, as you see here, this is what it looks like on my female character. Pretty much the same, right? It doesn't really look any different. Um, we could look for like kind of clipping and other issues. There's a lot of pouches, little knife on there, but it looks nice. It actually looks like it works pretty well um, for the most part. Even that little trench coat that's hanging out down there um, is animating well, right? And obviously we can e equip these in different pieces. So like, if, for example, if you didn't want the backpack, um, I don't know why you wouldn't, but you could take it off if you did want to take the backpack off. You could take off the greaves. So if we took off the left greave there, does that look weird just without the left greave by itself? No, it does kind of the grieve is kind of the part that's doing this stuff with the pit boy, right? I don't know what left left character hand the grieve. I don't know what a grieve is. That the I'm not sure what part that is. To be fair, the pauldron's the shoulder. The shoulder part is now missing, right? So you could take you could take all this extra stuff off if you want to put like other stuff on there. Maybe you could also take the helmet off in case you want to see your character's face. I know that's a big deal to some of y'all, right? Like you really want to see your character's face. Obviously, an option here. Take the right plates off. This is just the armor, though, right? Like, it looks a lot less intimidating and cool, but it is there. Obviously, it does gonna still cover up the chest part. But then technically, you could put on whatever you want. I got the heavy enforcer curious too. Is it different? And the heavy helmet, heavy curious. Is it bigger? It doesn't really look any different. Doesn't look different. It's just heavier, and then the heavy helmet. That's definitely a different looking helmet, right? Like that helmet is heavy. It's got a pack of smokes on there because you'd be do through the shit. Um, I don't know why where the the heavy set is. So like, I, I mean, we could put some stuff back on the plate helmet and then the heavy helmet. We could put the greaves and all that stuff back on and the backpack. And then do we have the heavy set here? It doesn't really look any different from the light set. It's just probably more damage resistance, right? The regular curious is 14 and 9. The heavy one is 39 and 29. It does heavier armor. Same thing with the heavy helmet, just better damage resistances, right? We're going to go find some of the special sets and stuff too. But first, we got to go to the armor workbench and see what kind of customization we got going on here. Um, so the Curious can be upgraded to heavy or medium, so we could just do that anyway. Reinforce the armor's metal plating and add additional pouches to assist with storage. It maybe increases carry weight even. That'd be kind of cool. And then you could have a medium version. It doesn't actually look any different, though. Um, you can also increase the resistances here, because, like, metal armor. Um, so the gloves just take, the, like, metal armor. They work like metal armor. Functionally the same thing. You could do sleek or, what, or whatever you want to do, right? Ultra light if you want to make them lighter, because they are quite heavy, for example. Um, that is going to move them quite a bit. Same thing with the pauldron. Um, you can put no paint on there. Remove the paint from the helmet. It's not a helmet. It's a pauldron. But, you know, it, it, it's, the description said paint. So that's what we're going to go with here. But make it polished metal, right? So we're just getting really good damage resistance on these parts. Let's take a look here. So we got the heavy helmet here. That's a different... I mean, it's the same helmet, huh? So we can go medium helmet. What does that look like? And then we want to go polished metal. And then no paint? Just to see. So this is this is our helmet. Medium helmet's got, got your character's face kind of hanging out. That's kind of interesting, right? 
um, I'm not really like the, obviously you can see like the difference between like we don't have the blue paint on the part there but it is still a functionally the same thing just you know lighter I guess um, and then what's the light the light armor is that the, the regular helmet or is that a completely different helmet that's this is the same helmet just with the, you can take your character's full face out of that so there's actually like a different helmet the plate helmet can only be put in painted metal and then look up Ace's paint Ace must be a character that's wearing the armor let's try that helmet on I do like the look of the plated helmet probably a little bit more even though the heavy helmet is better like defensively and all that right like it's um, just cooler looking there's a helmet so it's like where did I polish enforcer plate helmet the plate helmet is a little bit more badass, I think, but you know, teach their own on their preferences. Make it polished metal, make it, you know, for example, ultra light. It doesn't have to be good sleek, you know, whatever normal mods you want to put in your thing. I'm just putting an ultra light because I'm worried about my character's carry weight all the time. Um, we could also do the heavy enforcer curious. So, like, is this, if this is light, is it just like the regular, yeah, is this just the regular one then? And then we can make that polished metal, but we could also go medium. Is there any difference? I'm gonna look for differences. I'm not the best at seeing things. You can do all different kinds of things here. We also do turn coat paint on there. I don't know what that is. We'll see what that looks like here. That's like, I'm, I'm a fucking tank. It says on there, fucking something on there. Fuck. What does it say? Fuck weather. Fuck what? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to read. It's like really fuzzy for some reason. Um, but. It is turncoat paint, I guess. That's kind of interesting as it, as there is a thing. Um, and then we got the right pauldron here, which we have enforced paint on. We could take that paint off, though. Make it, for example, ultra light, but that's just an example, right? You could do all the same kind of things you'd normally do with metal armor. We could have different styles here. You could also take the paint off the chest piece, right? And I'm trying to look to see if there's a difference between the medium armor, but it doesn't. The, the, the main armor looks functionally the same to me. Like. There's the plate helmet. Where's my armor? Now it's ultra light, right? The curious. So if we go heavy, it says it adds extra carry weight. So how much carry weight do we have now? Let's see. Let's see if it does. 510, or we have 560 total carry weight. So if I make this heavy, does it, because it says it adds more carry with more pouches, but I don't know about that. More pouches. I guess there's like slightly more pouches on that armor. The, the pouches is the amount that changes on there. We still only have 560 carry weight, so it's just visibly pouches. So you could technically, I mean, it does add, you know, resistances too, so that's obviously the thing. No ballistic weave on here, though, which makes sense. It's just kind of heavy armor as it is. It's armor. You could technically wear something underneath that had, because it's all armor. I guess, you know, the Curious is like a big chunk-ass piece. You still get a pretty decent armor rating. It's kind of heavy, um, but... You do get that kind of nice looking set of armor. You can take all the paints off too if you really just don't want to be affiliated. We've talked about that a little bit here, but you got Aces paint, but you can do no paint. No paint on the helmet. Um, even the heavy helmet, right? Where did that go? Heavy helmet. You can do no paint, which we had on there already. Make that heavy again if you wanted to do that polished metal. And then we can go back down to this Curious. Like, you know, you know all the options and stuff here, but we could definitely turn that no paint as well. You just kind of be like a medieval fucking badass enforcer. Walking through the Commonwealth, fucking kicking ass, taking names. I think we're doing good on, on damage. This is not like amazing by any means. I'm pretty good. I think you're pretty resistant to damage with this kind of set on, right? Resistant enough. Now, it's a cool looking set of armor. Works with male and females. Obviously, you can see the default there. We can go back to the heavy helmet too. I, I do like the heavy helmet when made heavy. Why did, did I not put it back on heavy? Where did my, where did my face? Heavy helmet. I put it heavy, not medium. I want, I want the big covering my face. There we go. That looks fucking cool now, right? Like, now, you know, different little preferences, a little bit of change-ups on some of the things here, but mostly the set looks the same, right? Having armor for maximum resistances and stuff, all those pouches and stuff, but you can get rid of all the paint and all that stuff off of there. A little bit of customization. Obviously, my armor is much lighter than the one on my mannequin there, but it is a nice-looking set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up where some of these, where you can actually find these in the world if you don't want to download the extra craftable version. You know, I know some people like crafting stuff. Some people like fighting in the world. So we're going to go find it out in the world, and I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody. So the first set should be here at the Super Duper Mart, right? Kind of in the beginning of the game, right? Fairly early on in the game. In case you don't know what Super Duper Mart is, I guess we'll show that off in a second. There it is. Lexington, all right? Like, your first question is here. Now, there's ghouls here. I have a weapon ready to go. I know Josh is apparently the character's name. Something like that. Something like Josh. He's in the back here. There's definitely going to be ghouls in here, though. I'm trying to ruin my day. Um, let me just... I mean, I guess I'll just kick the door open, right? That's what an enforcer would do? Josh? 
Hello. Is he back in this room or is he further back? Hello, ghouls. Specifically ghoul killing weapon here. Um, he might be further, further in the back. I forget exactly where this man is, but I'm going to go look for him. He's maybe at the bottom down here? I forget exactly. Like, I'm so used to the Super Duper Mart in the context of me only going here to just quickly get in and out and leave. Yeah, you guys can get lit on fire. Hello, ghoul. You gotta stop, please. Don't worry about my glowing bodies, though, either, okay? That's a different mod. We'll, do, we'll deal with that later. Josh, you back here? The Way back here? There's a, there's a dead Minutemen guy. Normally, he just has regular Minutemen stuff on. Forget where he's at. It's been a long time. You all the way... No? Where's my dead Minuteman guy? Like, he's usually by... I feel, I feel like he's normally by a window. Right? Hello, boy. Hello. But yeah, so obviously if you don't take the fusion core, if you if you don't download the extra version, you have to go find this out in the world. And I got you got to be better at finding things than I am, right? So I'm looking around here for it. He's back here. Never mind. No, he's back here. So there's Josh. There's Josh's holotype. He's obviously got the full set of armor on, as you can see there. I don't even have to necessarily take it, but he's got the full enforcer backpack, enforcer left grieve, pauldron right grieve, right pauldron, heavy helmet, enforcer curious too, um, and his holotype. So he's he was you know lore canonically. It's also laser garand here because that's a different mod. We'll get to that at some point. Um, but yeah, there's Josh. He's got one set of the armor, so that way you can get it fairly early on in the game. I don't think it probably comes very upgraded. Um, you can absolutely die, ghoul. And you're also super duper dead. So yeah, that's the first set. We're going to go find the next one, and I will take you there together. I'm also kind of using the armor as it is. You guys, ghouls, I'm just leaving, okay? I don't have time for your shit today. Okay, cool story. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Alright, just because you guys know, Corvega Assembly Plant, literally right here by the Super Duper Mart in Lexington still. The, apparently, back in this loot room is the unique helmet. We're going to go find it there. I'll see you guys when we get there. I found the helmet. I didn't think it was not the loot room that I thought. So, it's right here. Ace's Lucky Helmet. Gives you plus two luck, which is fucking wonderful. Like, as a, a special helmet, right, to wear it all. So we obviously want to put that one on. It's got a special name, so it is actually unique. We put Ace's Lucky Helmet on. It's just a regular plated metal one. I'll tell you a good look at my character here. Maybe we get a little bit of light on my character's face. There you go. Look at that. Nice looking. Nice looking helmet. And it's got the Ace's pattern on there. This is in this little room here. We'll show this off a little bit. Raider shooting at me because they want to die. This is your fucking problem. Um, so if you go... This is the door, right? No, this is not the door I came in, is it? So, <laughs> this Corvega assembly plant is kind of a bitch. Um, but this is the door. So, if you come in... I, I can't currently sprint because I'm also over in comfort shit. Um, but this is how... That's the bottom door, right? I, I, I'm so confused. I forget. So, so, you come in here, right? Yeah, you come in here through this hallway... In the front door of the Corvega assembly plant. No, no. There's the front door right there. So you come through this section of raiders that are trying to jump your ass right here. Then instead of going up, like where you would do for like the, the first Miniman quest or whatever, where you go up the stairs there, you go straight through here. And then you go to the left. And then in this little room, there'll be a master locked door here. This is a hard room to get into, but I opened it. And then... Yeah, that's right. Shoot the explosive box. Get more over encumbered. Um, but yeah, that is where the helmet is. Lucky helmet. Gives you plus two luck. That's very good buff. Like a very good thing. I will see you guys with one more set of the armor in just a little bit. Alright, here we are everybody. The last set. As it's listed here, we'll see if this is true. The unique turncoat set is worn by James Wire at Libertalia. So, spoiler alert, I guess. Because the, the mod author does list it as a spoiler. So we're going to have to... I cannot believe I fell in the water already. The armor is too heavy. You drug me right down. Yeah, no, you can just get out of the way. Thank you, sir. So we're going to, obviously, work our way through all of Libertalia as it is, as a thing. Getting fat manned along the way. Hey, I kind of ate that shit. The armor's kind of doing its job, right? I am the Minutemen Minute Enforcer. You cannot stop me. Now, I don't know if James Wire, I don't recognize the name, right? So I don't know if it's like the guy at the very end of the, the, the stuff here. But we're going to kind of go through it together here. A little bit, just to see if we see it along the way or anything like that. Hello, sir. Can you just get shot, please? No, yeah, you can just get shot. Man. 
Obviously not wearing the armor though. You would see it. It's very cool that it's added to the level list in a cool functional like lore explained way. I think we have to go this way. Run along the platform. Take out the turret. Um, keep going. Just keep going. Who cares if you're getting shot? The enforcer armor. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. This is not the way. It's okay. I'll just go right over here. I can swim. I'm a coward. Oh, just give up. Why don't you just give up, Raider Veteran? Why are you taking a whole clip of bullets to die? How about that? Just don't take a whole clip of bullets to die. We're just cruising through. You're dead. I am the Enforcer now. Could you imagine? Like, it's like the Punisher of this crazy fucking... Yeah, anybody else? No? Didn't think so? Not right here, anyway. We're gonna keep going up. I did not disappear. I'm really right here, lady. I'm a big, crazy man. I need that real quick. That's not the one I wanted. Thank you. You're dead. Obviously, we have to work our way through the entire Libertalia. Like, just... Nope, don't really care. Looking for a dude with a specific set of armor. Keep going. The captain's cabin? Right, maybe, 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 probably. That's where I would think it would be. Right? Like, that's my personal... I mean, there's the fat man. Probably shouldn't have picked it up, but... Penetrating Gauss Rifle. I don't know, it wasn't even like a legendary, right? I don't know how that happened. Even more up, though. If I remember right. Do I remember how to get up from here? It's not in the, it's not in the captain's cabin, is it? Isn't there like... There, there's... I... You know. There it is. I remember. There's like a ladder. Like, it's been a long time since I've played Fallout 4 in the sense where I have to go through Libertalia. But there's the armor, right? Wire? Yep. That's gotta be the guy. Like, there he goes. We stop. So he's got the leaded fiberglass chest piece. Where's where's my where's my armor? There you go. The turncoat curious, right? So this has also got a legendary effect. We can put that with a lucky helmet. Gains increased energy and damage resistance to lower your health. He has a special turncoat's gas mask, which is a different variant of this thing. There's this whole turncoat set. So we're gonna take this. Thank you. Thank you for that. Take your stim pack too. So those are the three ones you can find out in the world. The helmet, the regular just basic set of armor. I'm not going to be able to fast travel right now. I'm going to take care of the rest of these enemies. I'm going to go look at the turn code set at my base. And I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, everybody. Back safe and sound in my base. So, yeah. We have that full default set you can find out in the world if you don't have the craftable version, right? You can find the special Lucky Aces helmet, which we currently have on. But we also got that extra set here. Um, the... the was it turncoat set? That's what I believe what it's called. Yeah, the turncoat curious, the turncoat gas mask, which is unique. And then the grave and the pauldron. There you go. The full turncoat set there, right? Does this have a unique customization? It does obviously have the unique legendary effect. And it is a different color. Instead of being like, obviously you can see compared to the default we had it over here. This is the Minuteman version. Kind of like a, like a bluish tone. Bluish, blackish tone. This is a lot more brown, right? In terms of its thing. It looks a lot more raidery. It's got a knife instead of a thing. Obviously we can show off some of the paint jobs and stuff. But this is actually its own unique set. That you can't just get some customization on. That gas mask is not a thing that you can actually get. Um, Put that fat man away. Just give me some space <laughs> to move around a little bit better. Is there something cool about the gas mask that we could do? Is it just kind of a gas mask? Like, not a helmet? I want to look here. So, there is a paint you can put on there? The enforcer paint. So, you could put the Minutemen stuff on the, the gas mask. And then you could still do it like a metal helmet. Um, the turn paint. But you could turn that off, too. So, you could turn the no paint on there. Like, the no extra stuff. And you can't make that heavy, though. So, it's always got to be light. But you can put the Minutemen stuff on there. The Minutemen logo, I guess. Um, and you can take the paint off of the chest piece, but it's still like a whole unique color. So it's a cool set if you go find it out in the world. Even, it's still worth finding out in the world, even if you can craft it for yourself. But if you want to like craft it like you know right away, have this cool, be the new Minuteman enforcer, right? Obviously, there's this guy who used to be a Minuteman, in theory, all right? And then turned on him and became a Raider. Um, and then there's the Minuteman who died, who was an enforcer, badass dude, died in the Super Duper Mart. And then I don't know how Ace's helmet ended up in Corvega, but you know it's there there's some cool stuff very cool set of armor you guys let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below if you do want to check out this minute minute enforcer armor for yourselves make sure to check out the top link in the description there'll be linked there to the bethesda on that page and the nexus mod page you can download this mod for yourselves there if you guys have enjoyed the video like the video if you guys are new to my channel make sure to subscribe then we can check out more videos from me and pretty much other than that you guys have a good rest of your day or it may be and i will see you in the next episode